but when you when you hear the recording of it, the way that he's speaking and the way that he broke down when he talked about how they caught him and sexually abused him for six hours, that um, I, I mean, I I I believe him. I mean, to me, it just seems right, no. like the, the whole interview, the way that he spoke about it. Um, yeah, I but yeah. I, I mean, if he's if he's lying, he deserves an Oscar. But it, it, <laughs> yeah. it seems the most simple explanation is that is he's telling the truth because I heard it too. And there's there's another thing that I want to add because when when I spoke to him before the interview uh, on WhatsApp, I, I he he told me that he probably doesn't want to tell the the this uh, the, the the sexual abuse part in the interview. I said it's entirely up to you if you don't want if you don't want to, if you're uncomfortable about it, etc. Um, but more you tell your story, more people it's going to reach out to. Um, and then he, at, at that point in my interview, I was um, under the assumption that he's not going to talk about it. But then he actually still volunteered at that point. So, so uh, that was seven years ago. So the new part of his story is that the police now was hunting him down because of his social media activity. Is that right? Yes. So 2016 that happened. Um, and uh, so he... he, he so luckily the phone was under a fake ID or something. So he threw, threw away the phone. He left Karachi. He went to the southern Punjab. He didn't, he, he didn't look at anyone. He didn't speak to anyone. There, was, there were no humans around for a good 14 days or something. And, um, and um, yeah, so he, he lived like that. And then he went to some other city and where he is at the moment. I think he's doing some sort of a little job. Um, Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.